Heather, as we mentioned, we have crews throughout the area keeping an eye on the conditions. Right now, Michael Brannon is out surveying the area. Yeah, hey, Michael. How is it going out there, and what are you seeing? Hey, Letitia and Lanise. Okay, right now uh, the sun has come out and uh, it, it's it's peaked in and out of the clouds here um, throughout the day, and it has melted where we are, just right outside the Fox 10 studio. It's melted some of the asphalt, as you can see here around me. It's really not that bad where we are right now. Now, earlier we were at the corner of Cottage Hill and University, where Mobile Police put road closed signs out for motorists traveling westbound on Cottage Hill. That's heading towards Knollwood before that big hill. Uh, it's a common sight as we were here and wreckers were there. Take a listen to what one had to say. I've been pretty steady just pulling cars out to stuff, slipping on the ice and everything. Oh, this ain't mobile weather. This is crazy. <laughs> and this is probably keeping you guys in business. Oh, uh, we've been pretty busy so far, but it's just hopefully it'll slow down a little bit. It's too cold for this. <laughs> Now, we know that they've been busy, and uh, we, we want to make sure that you know about some of these closings that are still in effect here in the Mobile area. Some notable ones, Schillinger Road between Cottage Hill and Three Notch, uh, Azalea Road at Cottage Hill, Michael Boulevard at Villain, Village Green Drive, Spring Hill Avenue at, Tut Hill, Avenue at Tut Hill Lane, University Boulevard at Airport Boulevard, Old Shell Road at University. That was a big one earlier. So all of those are also posted on our website, fox10tv.com. Com for any for any of that information that you need. Many of those that we have mentioned and that are online are uh, have been reopened. So just keep up with that to, so that you know when you have to travel outside today what roads are accessible and which roads you can pass through. But just keep in mind what's out there right now that is frozen will remain freezing. And if it's something that is uh, a thin layer of moisture, that will likely either evaporate or refreeze as the night goes on. So just keep mindful of those situations as you're traveling outside. We'll be back with more here at 5 and 530. Reporting live outside, Fox 10 News, Michael Brannon, Fox 10 News. Okay, Michael. Well, getting back to the president. From behind the clouds, giving some hope that ice on the streets will melt faster than expected. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brannon was in the thick of it earlier today. He's joining us live now to tell us more. Michael? Hey, Lenise, that's right. On the way into work this morning, many of us, if you had to be out and about, were experiencing miserable conditions driving in. And throughout the day, as Bob just mentioned, the sun was peeking out, in and out, uh, hoping to uh, to melt some of that ice. Earlier today, we were over at Cottage Hill and University Boulevards where road closed signs were put up, but that did not deter some people from going through there. The sleet and freezing rain froze roadways throughout Mobile on Wednesday. But Mobilians just couldn't help getting out and seeing what it was all about. Have you been out in it all day? No, no, I just came out a few minutes ago. It's thawing out a little bit, still a little icy patches here and there. Well, your friends seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, they're enjoying it. <laughs> Even though the road closed signs are placed here in the middle of the intersection at Cottage Hill and University, that hasn't stopped many drivers from passing on through. Even northerners said these conditions are not very pleasant. Oh, they're horrible. <laughs> are you from here? No. Where are you from? From Pennsylvania. So you're from Pennsylvania and you say this is horrible? Well, when I tried to get out this morning, I couldn't even move my car. <laughs> I guess cold is cold no matter where you are, huh? Yeah. This is something we're definitely not used to. What do you think? I don't think Mobile will ever get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> what, one every 10 years? <laughs> And right now outside, it is pretty chilly. The wind has picked up even since the last uh, live shot that we did here in the 4 o'clock hour. And we've got one more coming up at 530. But right now, it is it is pretty chilly. Uh, the, the, the person that you just heard from there from Pennsylvania was not the first person I've heard from talking about these conditions and being from another state uh, in relation to that. Uh, I talked to somebody yesterday from South Dakota. They said the driving conditions last night and even this morning were very similar to what you would expect up there with the high winds that we felt the gusts last night and with the uh, freezing rain and the sleet that was sticking together, so making for, for some very uh, miserable conditions on the roadways. But for now, we're outside the Fox 10 studios. We'll be back here in just a little bit. Reporting live, Michael Brannon, Fox 10 News. Bob Lanise. Well, because